Hello everyone, this is Lee, WW2DX, and we're back for another YouTube video. This time it's not going to be a demo. Actually, this time we're going to do the tuning procedure for one of the King Conversions SB220 amplifiers by Lou, QROKing.com or KingConversions.com, and Lou gets a lot of emails and inquiries about the proper way to tune one of his amplifiers. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go over the procedure here in this video. And uh, Lou recommends using an analog meter. And today we're using a Diamond SX100, but any any analog uh, meter will do. Um, so let's get started. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to start by turning the amplifier on. And when you turn the amplifier on, you want it you want to make sure that the CW tune position is selected first before you turn it on and it's in standby mode obviously um, power the amplifier up then switch it into sideband mode applying the higher voltage we're going to start off with 20 watts and actually let me show you the 20 watts here so we'll adjust the K3 for 20 watts so we're on the bottom scale, on the 30 watt scale, and you can see right there it's 30 watts. Uh, sorry, 20 watts. Alright, so we're going to start with 20 watts. And we'll flip this guy up to 3kW. I'm going to give it a carrier. Now, remember since we're tuning the amplifier, we want to kind of be careful with the amount of time that we have the carrier uh, in transmit mode since the amplifier is going to be fairly, you know, out of tune. So, first thing you want to do, the first step is 20 watts carrier, and you're going to adjust the input tune for maximum output. Okay, so that's the first the first step of what we're going to do here. So, let me give it a carrier. Actually, let me go into standby mode for it, and operate mode, that would help. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Okay, we're going to jump. all I'm doing right now is adjusting the input tune for maximum output right there. Okay? So on the 3,000 watt scale, that's uh, just a hair under 500 watts, okay, about 400 watts or so. So I've adjusted the input tune at 20 watts, and so now the next step is we're going to adjust the tune and then the load for maximum out as well at 20 watts input. So here we go, 20 watts in, adjusting the tune for maximum. There's the tune, and now let me just kick it off. I'll we'll give it a second. Okay, now the load. And there's the load. Perfect. So now we've done the input tune first, the tune, and then the load for maximum output at 20 watts. So now, so now we've tuned it at the low power setting. Now I'm going to adjust the K3 for 50 watts of drive. And we're going to essentially do the same procedure again at the 50 watt level. So shouldn't have to really do the uh, input tune, but I'll just take a quick peek and make sure it's okay, but we're going to skip it on the next one too. Okay, so there's the input, just a fine tweak on the tune, and now we're going to do the tune. And the load. Okay, so now we've peaked all three out at 50 watts, and we can see we're at 1000 watts. Alright. Now, 1,000 watts. So that's 50 watts of drive, 1,000 watts. We're going to go our final input power, which is going to be 75 watts, which is maximum, which should really only be used for sideband usage. So we're going to make this pretty quick on, on the carrier. And we're only going to adjust the tune and the load this time, starting with the tune and then going to the load. Okay, there's the tune max and the load max. Okay, so we should be maxed out here and we're running at about, looks like about 1150, 1200 watts, somewhere right, right about there, peak. So on CW. Okay, so what we can do is, let's CW and let's do a little CW here. We'll watch the meter. Second.
Okay, so there's some CW. You can see it peaking out at a thousand watts. And now we're going to actually give it some uh, some sideband. And uh, so here we go. Here, let's kick off a little sideband. And and we're going to okay, okay. One second here. Okay, here we go. Calling CQ, all security act. CQ, all security act 15. Calling CQ, all security act 15. Whiskey, whiskey, two Delta X right. Whiskey, whiskey, two Delta X right. QRZ over. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the sideband mode, and in sideband we can drive it with a full hundred watts. So I'm going to adjust the K3 for 100 watts. And of course we want to do our final tune procedure for 100 watts. So I'm going to quickly give it a carrier and we're going to tune, adjust the tune and then the load. And we're going to go back a few a couple times back and forth just to get perfectly uh, a matched uh, output. So here we go. Let's give this a try. See, you can see as I'm going back and forth here, I'm picking up a little bit each time. Give it a rest. We'll do it one more time. Okay, so about peak, about 1500 peak there. Yep. Okay. So now we're at full out, 100 watts in, perfectly tuned. And so what we want to do, I'm going to run a little, little sideband here, one second. Calling CQ, hello security act, CQ, hello security act 15. Calling CQ, hello security act 15. Whiskey, whiskey, two delta x-ray. Whiskey, whiskey, two delta x-ray, QRZ, over. Okay, so a little bit of sideband. Now keep in mind, if you're going to run CW, you want to back the input drive down to about 75 watts, 80 watts, around 12, you know, around a kilowatt. Um, and if you're just casually DXing or rag chewing, 100 watts in, 1500 out on peaks is fine. Um, but if you're going to be contesting voice keyers, uh, you know, heavy, you know, 100% duty cycle, if you will, um, Bring it back a little bit. Bring it back to about 1,200 watts if it's going to be 24/7 contesting. But other than that, 100 watts in, 1,500 out, and um, have a lot of fun. So hopefully this video um, explains the uh, tuning procedure. And uh, I'll say 73 from now. From Lee WW2DX and Blue W1QJ King Conversions or QRKing.com. 73.